Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to discuss the number two best exercise for preventing erectile dysfunction and improving your performance in the bedroom. Now, a while back, I made a very popular video with over 20 million views about the number one best exercise for preventing erectile dysfunction and improving performance in the bedroom. So today I'm going to discuss number two. The good news is that the information you're going to discover today works for both men and women in regards to improving your sexual experience and having more intense orgasms. Now for men, this bonus is a bigger bonus is better because it'll lead to harder and fuller erections. And the exercise mentioned in the original video is about doing Kegels. And I'll share the link to that original video at the end of this one so you can get all the details, the instructions, the benefits, and so forth. You can also go watch it after this one. However, today I'm going to discuss the number two best exercise for preventing erectile dysfunction and improving your performance in the bedroom, and that's called the reverse Kegel. Sorry, let's, what's the difference now? Well, a regular Kegel exercise works by contracting the PC or, or the perineal muscles. The reverse Kegel does the opposite. It relaxes these muscles. It's more of a stretching exercise. So the Kegel contracts and strengthens while the reverse Kegel relaxes and stretches. Together they help balance the whole what's called the pelvic floor muscles and thus helps improve your erection strength and stamina. And for women, it improves this, your sensation and makes things tighter and stronger down there. It's like going to the gym, right? When you work out, you contract the muscles during the set. Then in between the set or after the workout, you stretch the muscle that you just worked. Both should be done to help optimize the muscle health, the performance, and the results. All right, so how do you do a reverse Kegel? It's actually really simple. Since you want to relax and stretch the PC and the perineal muscles, you need to imagine trying to pee really hard, even maybe trying to, you know, let some gas out or fart. While the Kegel, you contract the muscle and thus you pretend you're stopping the pee, like you, you tuck it in, right? You're stopping peeing. You try to hold in, or maybe you try to hold in gas or fart. Here you do the opposite. You push and, and you push the pee out and you, as if you're almost trying to fart, but don't let it happen. And that's it. All right, one stretches, the other contracts. So when should this be done? Now, a reverse Kegel can be done anytime, any place. You can do it sitting, standing, or laying, just like a Kegel. You can do it anytime, any place. However, I suggest you do the reverse Kegel after you do the Kegel exercises. These muscles, you know, the, 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 the perineal and everything muscle, will be pumped and tight, just like them going to the gym. So it's best to then relax and stretch the muscle, just like after workout. So how long and how many sets? Each reverse Kegel should last about two or three seconds, the stretching, and you can do about 10 repetitions. So that's one set. Start doing one set of 10 reps, and eventually work up to two or three sets of 10 repetitions. Now some people do them every day, which is fine. Others do them like three times a week. If you do them every day, then you just need to do one set of 10 reps. It's fine, okay? That's it, just do one every day. Like basically it comes out to like six to seven sets a week. If you do them three times weekly, then do two sets, all right? Which again works out the same because two times three is six. It all works out the same. So it's the weekly volume that matters, not the daily. But because the muscle fiber because of the type of muscle fiber it is, training it more often is better than just once weekly like you would at the gym. Now below, I've listed some of the important links that I've discussed in this video. One of the original being that Kegel video that I mentioned with the 20 million views. Make sure you watch that if you haven't already or if you have, watch it again. And if you're a man and you wanna improve your erections and increase your libido and testosterone levels, there's also another link and a proven formula that I want you to use. So again, the Kegel contracts the perineal muscle while the reverse Kegel stretches it. Do the Kegel first, then do the reverse Kegel after to stretch and relax the muscle. Then you're getting the best of both worlds. Go ahead and take a look at the links below this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click that bell icon so you'll be notified when similar videos are released.
As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. Have yourself a happy and healthy day.